<laughs> Next up is Asher Belkin, who um, works with the OSU-based Snafu Catchers Consortium. Uh, research experience with multiples of disciplines, including military intelligence, surgical robots, and self-driving cars, which I, hope, I don't know if everybody else is, but I'm sure looking forward to. So, um, oops, Asher. Thank you. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to sort of wander around mostly because I think if I stand behind a podium in a church for very long, I'll probably catch fire. Uh, and my, my uh, life insurance policy doesn't cover acts of divine retribution. So, uh, so I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, root cause analysis and why it is that I've come to the conclusion that this is uh, a limiting factor in the world that we live in now. And as Kyle said, I come from a diverse background. All of the projects I'm involved in work with human and automation interaction, and this is just one of them. And root cause analysis seems to work really well, right? We have this, this, this clear, succinct path. When something goes wrong, we figure out what happened. But what about when your network looks like this? Then, then what do you do? Right? When your step from A to B to C doesn't work out the way you thought it was going to, how do you proceed with your RCA at that point? Well, what we really have is an architecture problem. And on the left, it doesn't matter how elegant you design your prop plane. It doesn't matter how many tests you do. You're never going to get a 600-mile-an-hour propeller-driven aircraft. The architecture doesn't support it. For those of you who remember this, this is the logo from the uh, uh, Pentium 840 Extreme Edition. This was the first, Intel's first dual core processor. And they realized very quickly, they were architecture limited. Just like these guys, right? And if you think about problems long enough, you realize everything goes back to the Romans. And RCA asks the same questions the Romans were asking. Sine qua non, if not for. If this hadn't happened, what would have happened? Well, the problem is that RCA presents a system level view, or I'm sorry, a component level view of events. It enforces this, this linear, simplified view of what's really going on in the world. And it forces you to create a linear chain of causality even when one doesn't necessarily exist in your system. It enforces this model on a world which doesn't necessarily conform to it. And what we need instead are theories like this. We need to recognize that multiple contributing factors are what often lead to our outages and our events now. It isn't a single component. It isn't a hard drive that went wrong, a single code push. When we look at this and we say, we think about time and space averaging. Why do we put airplane pilots in simulators? Why do we put defibrillators on every ambulance? Well, we don't know which ambulance is going to need the defibrillator, but we know eventually someone in that ambulance is going to need the defibrillator. We're going to run enough events that the possible sequences are going to play out. Things in your system will interact in ways that produce failures. And if you're consistently looking for a single component that fails, if your after-action reports, if your uh, RCAs, your post-mortems are always looking for a single source of failure, you'll never see the interactions between the, the uh, uh, units which are largely contributing to the failures that we're having today. Now, this doesn't mean that there's no use for, for RCA, but it does mean that you can't create truly resilient systems without cons considering the larger systemic contributing factors. It does mean that you can't consider systemic properties without taking a systems level perspective, and you can't, uh, you can't really move forward from there. Because we demand that RCA produce a single root cause, we are constrained from looking at the ways the larger system is producing interactions among its components which make the system less resilient, which make the system more brittle. It is a fundamental error in the architecture of the way we implement RCA. We can't get this chip to run any faster unless we, stop, we tell it it doesn't have to talk through the front side bus anymore. We need to change the way we think about doing after-action investigations, the way we do post-mortems, to look more at the interactions between the units and less for individual failures that brought our whole system down.
Thank you.